video of 27523 and I'm going to pause and start this multiple times. This truck has a blower, dry bulk blower, and a hydrochem unit on it, it's all hydraulic. Here's the shaft to the transmission PTO driving the blower. The other end of the blower drives another hydraulic pump, which drives the hydrochem. I'm going to pause the video. This is nothing but a safety switch. It goes all the way through, the water will drain. That you put this cap on and depress this plunger or none of this stuff will work. Do not buy an extra cap and add to this and engage the PTO and blow our blower or our hydrochem up. One cap only. So this cap goes here when in use and the last thing you're going to do is remove the cap from there and put it back here. Pause in the video. Okay, the cap's been removed. It's on. The plunger is depressed. Now I'm ready to start the truck and engage the PTO. And the first thing I'm going to do is run the hydrochem. Okay, the truck is idling at 600 RPMs. When I engage the PTO, it's going to go to 1,000 RPMs. And that's where we run the hydrochem pump or compressor. No faster, no slower. So here we go. PTO's engaged. Truck's going to come up to a thousand RPMs. The hydrochem is just in neutral, so it's just bypassing the hydraulic fluids, bypassing, and the blower will be turning. So the blower is going to turn no matter what when that PTO button is engaged. So I'm going to walk out to the hydrochem now. So you can hear the dry bulk blower turning. So if I'm going to air unload. If I'm going to run the pump and I don't want to run it dry, I'm just going to shift it down in, into the pump position, pausing the video. So we're still at 1,000 RPMs, the blower's still turning, and we allow up to 1,400 RPMs for the blower. And I will post the truck RPMs and how many blower RPMs it equals in this truck. So you come to this setting and in your idle adjust PTO hit OK so I have idle adjust selected so I'm going to hit OK again and I'm going to bump this button bump watch the RPMs bump bump I'm just going to bump it keep bumping it so I may run at 1,200, I may need 1,300, and I may need 1,400 RPMs. And again, I'll post that in this truck and on this video. But that's what the screen will look like, and that's the maximum it'll run. Never run the hydrochem at that speed. So I'm going to step out to the blower now. RPMs back down and again do not adjust RPMs while operating the hydrochem or I can simply shut the PTO, PTO off I come back down to 600 RPMs and I'm going to show you two of the most important things when you finish actually one before you begin and one when you finish as I said at the beginning of the video, we don't want to add a second cap and end up ruining our equipment. So, cap off, plunger comes up, cap off our blower. This is not to be touched. This is the amount of hydraulic fluid running through the hydrochem. If that is increased, we could blow up 
seals and gaskets and everything in the hydrochem. If the speed on it's reduced, it won't pump or air off like it should. So do not touch. It's locked in place right now. Do not touch this lever.